Cape is a cruiserweight. Jamal Chalo will be, to me, Canelo's biggest, biggest threat. Canelo will smash Benavidez. Benavidez. He'll smash him. Really? Smash him. Why? Anything that he throws at Canelo, you know what Canelo gonna do? All day. Will make him not throw anymore the way he was throwing the round two before then. b -hop, all time great. I always respect his opinion. I don't always agree with what he says. b -hop said from middleweight all the way to heavyweight, he doesn't care. Jamal Charlo is the biggest threat to Canelo Alvarez. And the reason he gives is his personality, his style of boxing, and he says Jamal Charlo has something to prove. Now, if that was the case, Jamal Charlo will be fighting decent opponents, not lower opposition. But what did he say to Mike Tyson when Tyson suggested if he can't get the Canelo fight, fight Benavidez? He said Benavidez has nothing to offer him. He has no value. Now, does this sound like someone who wants to fight the best or feel like he has something to prove? I disagree with B-Hop. Jamal Charlo hasn't sold me nothing that makes me think he's a big threat to Canelo. Now, when it comes to David Benavidez, I agree with Jamal Charlo twin, Jamel. David Benavidez is really not a super middleweight. He's not a cruiserweight, but he is a light heavyweight to me. I like David Benavidez, but I think he outgrew the weight class. But him and his dad will continue to squeeze in at 168 because they like being the bigger guy. Yes, weight bully, but that's another story. B-Hop said that David Benavides will get smashed by Canelo because of his aggressiveness, and he ain't used to guys firing back at him. And Canelo's detractors will say, well, Rogelio Medina and Anthony Durrell punch just as hard as Canelo does. And Benavides kept coming, and they might have the same punch of power as Canelo does. But are they accurate as Canelo? Like I said, Canelo's a world-class counterpuncher. Rogelio Medina and Anthony Durrell are not world-class counterpunchers. They're not even elite fighters. This is my thing with David Benavides. He wants the big fights, but he haven't had the big fights. So we don't know what to expect from him when he gets into big fights. Like Bernard Hopkins says and Mike Tyson says, everybody has a plan until they get hit. And these guys have not been in big fights. So they haven't been through the adversity. Canelo's not the hardest puncher, but he punches hard enough to make his opponents abort their mission. B-Hop is telling you, he believes David Benavides will fold up once he feels Canelo's punches. Anyway, let me know what you think about B-Hop's comments. Leave your thoughts and comments below. JBZ, I'm gone.